Hi, let's have a look at this Microsoft Power Automate community thread. So the question asked here is help with unique values. The scenario here is uh, there is an Excel sheet which contains multiple email address. So the user wants to extract unique values and send one email instead of multiple emails. So I asked a sample data here. Okay, so I created a similar data uh, in my system and um, there are a couple of emails it's been duplicated here. This is a test.1. One. One. There are two test.1 um, email here. So what we want to do here is we want to get the unique values of the email then filter by the email address to get the uh, get the uh, relevant details and send it to uh, send by an email okay so for this i created an excel sheet then i created a table also so remember in power automate if you want to work with the excel sheet you need to create a table so i created a table for that that's very important let's start building the flow so for the excel connector here i'm going to use list rows present in a table okay and then select the SharePoint location where your um, Excel sheet is. So let's go back. Here it is. And under the documents, browse the file. So that's the file I got. And see the table. So the table is mandatory. That's the reason we need to create a table okay that's done the next step what we want to do here is we want to get the unique values of the email for that i'm going to use a select statement so what that select does is it's going to get the previous values from that uh, list rows and uh, here i can say i'm only interested only in the um, email only sales rep email address okay so let's save this flow and run it okay right flow ran successfully as you can see here under the output it has i have got all the emails so here i got duplicate emails also see test dot one and again test dot one down here also there see test dot one there then here also there are two here okay so, but ideally we want to get the unique values of that so for that the technique we need to use here is add a compose and then click on the function and say union so what union does is you can select the output from the previous select comma again use the same one because we need two arrays to uh, two arrays as a parameter in union so because we don't have a second uh, array value here we can select again the same one that's a technique we need to use so we are selecting the same previous output values under the union okay both parameters are the same that's done okay run the run the test now okay let's see now in the output you can see here test one test two and test four and test five that's it so we got the unique values that's the technique we need to use it the next step we need to use here is we need to read the uh, the values here so for that i'm going to open the run history open the combos and take this output so press select all and control c that because i want to use it in the next step so to read that i'm going to use a pass json step so under the pass json step i can say from the previous output because that's an array i want to read it so read the sample data which i got and click ok that see that's the type is an array now okay and the next step again and uh, we want to use a filter now because the next step we want to filter the array with the previous values so we already got the list values here so let's go down and select the value here and we can say here now the value which i'm interested now here is the email of that sales rep email from that list rows is equal to the pass json got the email also remember we extracted the unique email address here so just select that 
so here we need to select the pass json email so that's going to put in a put in a loop again because we have got multiple unique emails here that emails here that's the reason so we got the filter array now so once that once that is filtered what you could do here is you could say create a csv file or something uh, say create a csv table okay and say it's coming from the previous filter array output filter array body and um, okay i'm going to say the columns full full um, table now okay and the next step i could say here send email now here okay so i could use now send email and uh, then select select the from address as my um, the the sales uh, rep email id you can do it here so you could again go to the function here like that and to say either you can select from the past yes and that's also a unique email it doesn't matter here this email is same as because either this or this we can map it here and then here uh, the subject when you say test uh, then the content of that csv table so that is the output of that content here we go that's the way you can you can you know um, um, filter the array values and uh, then uh, send the right where uh, contents as an email i'm just for this demo purpose i'm not going to send the email because i'm not using the valid emails here okay so i just remove that and um, i'm going to run this okay flow ran successfully so you could see here here it is so my content of the values here is uh, customer number sales and test one see and test one got another another um, record as well here there are two values here is it so here we go and uh, the next one if i click on next that has only got one value only see that that's only for that user now and third one again that has only for the the, the test four one test four only there you can see here my csv output also here okay so Hope this uh, video is useful and uh, thank you for watching.